we have just seen a man and he was walking behind us on the road in that direction, literally over there. He was there and we both saw him, didn't we? Mm. And then we've turned around again and he's gone. So I'm hiding behind this big gate. It looked like he was in like a fly suit. Well. It looked like he was wearing a leather jacket. But other than that, we don't know. He was there and then he wasn't there. And he was literally on this road. And we are right at the back of RAF Lind home. Hello, everybody, and welcome to today's vlog. Now, today, we're going to do a ghost hunt out at the old site of RAF Lind home. First of all, it is really windy today, so as you can tell, hair is everywhere. If at any point there's a problem with the sound, look down below and I'll, I'll put what I'm saying down there in uh, words for you so that you know what's going on. So we are doing this just for entertainment purposes. We have an eye ovulus on the phone and we do not mean any disrespect to anybody at all. We know these moors and RAF Lindholm like the back of our hands. And as far as we're aware, there are no known deaths at all in this part of RAF Lindholm where we're going today. Not only that, there are absolutely no graves anywhere in the area. So no death sites and there is absolutely no resting places for anybody. So we made sure of that before we started and it's really important to get that across. So what we're going to do is find our first location, aren't we? And then we're going to turn the eye ovulus on and see what it says. We are in our first location and this used to be an electricity box. If you can see here, this has got all the uh, raised plinths, which is where all the electricity and all the cables connected to RAF Lindholm used to be. Bit of asbestos down there. And if we go through here into another building, if I can just shine my torch over there. Ooh, so now we are going to turn the eye ovulus on. So let's have a look and see what it says. Right, okay, phone. Now it's not a yes or no, so we actually have to think of imaginative things to do. Ovulus on. Right, let me turn the music, turn the sound up. Right, so what are we going to say to this room? So, where are we and is there anybody here or anyone that can say what happened here? Was this from a long, long time ago or World War II? Anything? Anything? Right. Oh. Knit and prayer. Well, I suppose people did used to have to wear lots of knit in the 1940s, and I'm sure that with it being an old fight, uh, sorry, a bomber squad place, I'm sure there was an awful lot of prayers going on here. So that's quite, quite true. Flipping heck, that's really, really good. So, should we go on to the next location and see what there is? I think so. Good idea. We are now on the public road that runs just alongside the perimeter track of RAF Lindholm. So here is the road, this is what we are on. And just there where those trees are, that is a perimeter track. So off we go. Ovilus on. Ovilus on. So what question shall we ask here? Um, dirty. Dirty. You're not wrong. It's absolutely filthy out here. I'm absolutely covered. Dirty phone. Yes, my phone is quite dirty as well. Well, the track is really dirty. And he says dirt again. Look, dirty phone dirt. This is actually quite accurate and a little bit freaky. Yes. yes, it says yes, it is freaky. Massively so. Right, I'm going to ask it something about planes. Is there anybody here connected to aviation or planes, or bomber crews, bomber squadrons, Polish, because the Polish were stationed here as well as the English. Is there any answers going to come through? Any answers? Planes? Airfield? Oh, we've gone quiet, Farmers. William. <gasps> Farmers! You are right! So, after the war, 
this was actually returned over back to the farmers. So here, right here actually, this very spot is the end of the runway. And now you can't see any of it because the farmers have taken back their land. Now I must say it's not very often when we've played with this ovulus before that it's actually as accurate as what it's being now. It's a bit spooky. Right, we'll try another location. Oh, 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 important. Important. What's important? What's important? Tell me. Important, William. Mm. I'd love to know what that means. Tell me what's important and we'll see if we can do something about it, if we can. Farmers. Legion. <gasps> Legion. Well, there's the British Legion. No, it's Legion, as in the Royal British Legion. Let's see if there's any connection with Legion with this old airfield. An important Legion, yeah. Right, on to the next location. So we're kind of hiding at this point. I hope you can hear because of the wind. We have just seen a man and he was walking behind us on the road in that direction, literally over there. He was there and we both saw him, didn't we? Mm. And then we've turned around again and he's gone. So I'm hiding behind this big gate. It looked like he was in like a flying suit. Well. It looked like he was wearing a leather jacket. But other than that, we don't know. He was there and then he wasn't there. And he was literally on this road. And we are right at the back of RAF Lind home. That's one of the scariest things I've ever seen. Right, again, I hope you can hear because of the wind. If not, read down here. We've got three locations on here that we're going to have a look at. The first bit, this is the perimeter of the old runway. We're then gonna go to the old watchtower, which was the flight control tower. And then we're gonna go over to the Northern Radar site as well to be able to see what we can do. So bear with us and we'll get the ovulus out again in a minute. But if you see a man in the background, let me know because that was terrifying. I can't stop looking behind me. I have just realised, and please tell me if there's somebody behind me because we are very nervous at the moment. But we have just realised, mentioning knit, that my mum knitted me some gloves and a scarf. So right now, on our first vlog ever, I'm wearing home knitted garments. <gasps> are now in a very spooky avenue of trees. Look at this. Ooh. And it's nearly dark. Right. What does the eye ovulus say? Ovulus on. We are very, very close to the old barracks, the mortuary, the hangars. <gasps> began. Yes, it all began here. This was the start. This is where all the planes used to be. Give me one more Wait. word. <gasps> knit! Again, knit! <gasps> it knows I'm wearing homemade knit! This is incredible! <gasps> Otherless off. Right, we'll do some more in a bit. Here we are at the old hangars, which is awesome. So what we're going to do now, now we're at the hangars, the uh, parade ground was there as well. So if you see my stories about the little dog, Sia Peck, he was always there. So. Off. As this is where all the planes spring. were kept, spring, it is spring. Oh my God, it totally is spring. As this is where all the planes were kept and where all the marching happened, and this is where the virtual military, I can never say it properly, but the most important medal in the Polish forces was given out. So that was the same as our Victoria Cross. Has anybody out there got anything to say? Because I know that there was loads of really, really, really proud men. Let me just show the hangers again. So that's one of the hangers over there. And that's one of the hangers over there. They are original from the war where the English and Polish forces were. So, whew, it's gone off. All we have is spring. Is there anything else that anybody wants to say? Spring. No, nothing. Well, now we are coming up to the old flight tower. Now this, actually makes me want to cry because this is such a beautiful art deco building it's absolutely gorgeous it's got shoes. the coffee oh <gasps> shoes of course it's shoes it was a parade ground it was a parade ground of where people used to march so that was it there that is the old parade ground 
near the flight tower. Wow, shoes, yeah, correct. That is such... Ooh, come! Oh, no, I'm not going in. There is a big high fence. Unless I end up in prison, then I don't want to go there. But as I was saying, this is a gorgeous Art Deco building. It's absolutely stunning. And for a lot of the men that left here on missions... Oh, release! Oh, were you released from your bodily form here? For a lot of the men that were here, this is the last thing that they saw when they were here. But all the windows have been smashed. It's in a terrible state. It looks to have been graffitied and all sorts. It's horrible. So, 100. 100? Oh my gosh, yes, 100. So it's just over 100 years since the RAF was formed. And when I first found out about this place and the body on the box... Tiny. <gasps> tiny? They did have a tiny little dog. I mean, tiny could literally mean anything, but I mean, they did have a tiny little dog. Agent! It's going mad here, William. Yes. The ovulus is going absolutely mad. Noun. Noun. Um, I know plenty of nouns. War. It's just said war. It has just said war. I can see. I'm stood next to the flight tower. At R.E.F. Lindholm. Fear! It's just said fear. Oh my yeah, God. That's me. That's you. I'm terrified. It's just said fear. I bet these boys were terrified. The last time they saw this place, they were going over to Germany to bomb. Oh my God. Is there any more words that you want to say while we're here next to the flight tower? Look at all those windows that have been put through. What a sorry, sorry state that building's in now. Oh, fear. Well, we'll end on that for now until we get round to the northern radar. But that, I've got to say, has given me the willies. <gasps> ovulus off. Yes, ovulus off for a minute. I mean, it's probably not related, but look, there's a whole pile of stones. Didn't they used to cover bodies with piles of stones? <laughs> Scary stuff. And with the thought of bodies, we've got this very, very overgrown track to walk down. Hopefully, we'll see you at the other side. <laughs> By the way, is there anything behind me? No. I'm still terrified of that man. We are now at the side of what is now HMP Lindholm. So this is actually now the prison. I'm obviously not going to record and show you any of that bit because I don't, I'm sure I'm not allowed to. But anyway, I don't know if anyone's died in the prison. I guess they might have done. Huge apologies if somebody has and we really don't know and we're not doing this to be disrespectful. So anyway, Ovilus on. So we're at the side of the prison. Are any words going to come out from the prison? Well, you've got to make it prison related, otherwise we won't believe you. Incarcerated, baddies, fraud, murder. What words can you think of that are to do with prison? There might not be anybody here. Death. I've genuinely never heard of anybody dying at the prison, so there might not be, but then again, it's, it's not really something you look out for, is it? Telepathy. Telepathy, that's, Telepathy, that's I mean, it's a word. I don't know whether it's related to the prison, but anyway, telepathy. Any other words before we turn the corner? Hop. 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 No idea what that could mean. <gasps> On to the next location. Ovilus off. Ovilus off. I'm genuinely really scared. It just said telepathy. We turned the ovulus off and then from the wood behind us, we heard a scream. And it wasn't like a proper scream. It was like a, a really haunting, almost like a memory scream as if somebody once screamed there once upon a time. And the location remembered that and it repeated it. There's nothing there. It was terrifying. So we've seen a man that wasn't there and we've heard a scream that wasn't there as well as having words like knit and war that completely resonate with what's happening right now. 
Oh my goodness, it's really scary. I cannot stop Shoe. looking behind me. Shoe! Oh my God! Shoe! There's a random shoe! Oh my God! And I'm not being funny. That could be World War II. That's ancient looking. That was like a great you, like an old fashioned yes. Oh my goodness. And I'm just saying, this says SS Canberra on it. This looks like an old trunk of somebody's. Can you see that? SS like Canberra. A cart, that could be something that somebody's once had all of their things in. Okay, I'm going to stand here in Ovulus. Oh my goodness. Right. Ovulus on. Ovulus on. We've just found your shoe. And we've just found the SS Canberra. Now, as far as I know, SS is either Starship Enterprise or it's a ship from a fleet. What is this in relation to? It also says it on the side of the box as well. Let me see if I can get any more information. No, it just says SS Canberra. And it says hold on it, so it has been on a flight. It is somebody's old box, it's been in a hold. I don't want to touch anything or disturb anything because even though it's a pile of rubbish, <gasps> I want to try and be as respectful as possible. I oh my God. And it says something more, William, just come and hold the ovulus for me one second, darling. Right, I'm going in. Right, on the side of this, it says, oh, it just says the SS Canberra again, but it's got loads of studs, look. Loads of metal studs, like what they used to use for hobbling boots. And there it says printed in England as well, SS Canberra. This has been somebody's travel case once upon a time. That's crazy. I wonder if this is the lid, this part here, with more, ooh, with more information on it. No, it's not. It's not connected to it at all. What a shame. Wow. Does the uh, ovulus want to give us any more words? We'll just give it a minute and see if it wants to do anything here. God, I wonder whose that was. My granddad was in World War II and he had loads of things like chests that were written out with things like that. SS Canberra. Well... <coughs> No words are coming through here, so let's move on to the... <gasps> remove! It says remove! Is that remove me or is that remove us? It says remove. Oh. Remove. Probably means move. Right, we should get out. I know you want to move. I don't think it means that. When it says remove... There's let me have a look. Oh! Remove. I'm not taking it. I know it's in a pile of rubbish, but I'd never take something that's not mine. Gosh. That's really, really well. the shoe. Alone. Apart from removal. Oh, there's a tape. What's that? The very best of brass, various artists. You've got to be of a certain age to be able to know what a tape is. But no, we still have nothing at all nothing on the ovulus right let's move on to the northern radar ovulus off, ovulus off. We have just done a quick Google while we're here and the SS Canberra was actually an ocean liner, believe it or not. And she was scrapped at the Ghadani shipbreaking yard in Pakistan between 1997 and 1998. So it might not relate to war at all. I mean, it might do. This is the first search that we've done. Um, but yeah. It says SS Canberra was an ocean liner which later operated on cruisers in the P&O fleet from 1961 until 1997. Well, the beginning of 
The beginning of the 60s were very important here because over at the other side of the runway from here, there is a 1960s Cold War bunker. So, ooh, is it all tied in? <gasps> I don't know, and I don't want to do the ovulus here because it's scary. You can see in the background there, that is the Northern Radar. Now, as far as I'm aware, there were about five or six different radars plastered all around the place. There was a Midlands radar, there was a, a Borders radar, there was a Scottish radar, there was a Welsh radar, and there was one in Northern Ireland. And we have here the Northern radar. Now, again, I've got no idea if anybody ever lost their life here, but let's have a look and see what it says. So we are here at the Northern Radar. At the time, this would have been the absolute hub of activity. This would have been spotting planes. It was also connected to the Cold War as well because it was looking out for anything that was different. We really was a signal post and a post where people came um, just basically to, to work, to see what was going on in the skies above England at the time. So is there anything active in this area? Again, the ovulus isn't saying anything. It never shut up at the side of the flight tower, did it? Right, let's have a look. By the way, if anyone can see anything behind us at any point, do comment below because we've been losing light for a while now and I think there's somebody behind me. It's really, really scaring me. So the ovulus is on. We are still on the perimeter track. Spin! Spin! Yes, I've been spinning the whole time I've been here. I have been looking over my back the entire time you are right. I have been bacon. spinning. Bacon! I like bacon. I like bacon. Yeah. Not gonna lie, bacon's a good call. That's not a problem. Would you like a bacon sandwich? Or a... What else can you have with bacon? Sausage. Bacon and sausage, a fry up. Is it a fry up? Or a potato bake with full bacon English. in it? Yeah, full English. No, might not mean that at all. It could even be a surname. Yeah. It could be a surname. I'll have to have a look and see if there's anything there. But if not, just bacon on its own is a good shout. Anything else, Ovulus? We are now coming up to the bottom end of the runway, and this is where I'm going to stop recording because about, I don't know, 400 metres from here, there is a known uh, plane crash. And this had got a New Zealand crew on it, and this was a Halifax bomber. Straight, that's right, it's the runway. It's the straight of the runway. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Do you know what? These words are pretty bang on. It's really freaking me out. The runways, of course, were very straight. So what happened? a Halifax bomber with a New Zealand crew. They came from RAF Sandtoft and unfortunately they got into trouble as soon as they took off. They ended up being flagged down by the ground crew here at RAF Lindholm. They unfortunately missed the runway, shot off the end of it, hit the bomb store that was at the end near the A614 and landed on top of the bungalow that was owned by Mr and Mrs Haith at the time. And Mr and Mrs Haith were Doncaster's only dead so I didn't really want to get too close to them because they are obviously known people and I didn't want to be disrespectful can can what I, I can record here I have your permission or do you mean like a can of baked beans I don't know it could mean anything but this is literally the last place that I'm going to record with the Oculus because this I will point out behind me in a little while is the very end of the runway and it was only a very very short time over there a short distance over there where the men lost their lives so that is the end of the runway and in the exact opposite direction over there over the fields would have been the return runway that all the men would have come back from Germany from their bombing raids and they would have landed here and then taxied back to where the uh, flight control tower was. So the last few seconds of your list, we've got can. Is there anything else you want to tell us about this area? Anything at all? 
again we know that the English served here we know that the Polish served here we knew that they had a little pet dog there were Halifax bombers Lancaster bombers but mainly Wellington bombers Merlin engines no I think we've gone quiet we've gone quiet never mind we've had a lot though haven't we it's been brilliant oh my god there's a can it just said can it literally just said can and at the end of the runway next to all the concrete bollards that stop cars from coming on here there is a can just like the random shoe that is bizarre that is so bizarre Thank you so much for watching. I really do apologise about the sound quality. I'm sure that it must be very, very bad today. We hope that you've enjoyed our time out there on the haunted airfield that is RAF Lindholm. We will be posting every single Thursday or sooner. But for now, take care. Bye bye.